Hey guys, Ambience here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Weirdos preset on the custom night of Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Now, before we get into it, I'd like to quickly talk to you guys about one of my recent projects. I've been working on a game recently called Five Nights at Ambience. It started off as a silly little project based on a meme, but has now developed into a serious horror game. It's not just a clone of FNAF 1, we're actually talking about a lot of unique stuff to add, and I think it's going to be a great game. The reason that I'm telling you about this is because we're overwhelmed and are looking for more people to help out with the game. We need more people in the animation and sound design, and we could always use someone with knowledge of Flick Team Fusion to help out with programming. If you're decent at any of these things, join the Discord server linked in the description and let us know what you want to help out with. We'll decide if we want to add you to the team. Your help would be greatly appreciated. Now, back to the guide. This preset might actually be the easiest one of the entire game, aside from Angry Ballet. It relies on quick reflexes and some memorization. It's good practice for doing camera rotations and dealing with the aftermath of dropping the camera, which is crucial for 1020 mode. As I've already covered the mechanics of the animatronics in depth in my previous guides, I'll only do a quick recap before moving on to the overall strategy. If you want to know more about how a specific character works, go to the playlist linked in the cards and find the guide for the first preset they appear in. Yendo is a chance to appear when you lower the monitor and will start rapidly draining your oxygen. Quickly flip the monitor back up to get him to go away. It's a common myth that Yendo will kill you when the oxygen runs out, but in reality he only kills you after standing in the office for too long, similar to the office animatronics in FNAF 2. The oxygen level has no effect on this timer. The best way to deal with Yendo is to counter him preemptively, and by that I don't mean spam flipping the camera every time you pull it down. Best case scenario, you trade power for oxygen. Worst case scenario, you panic and die. Instead, pay attention to the edges of the camera while you have it up. If you're on the left side of the office, you can see Yendo's body on the right edge. If you're on the right side of the office, you can see his ear at the top edge. Start paying attention before dropping the monitor and you'll be able to see him. In this case, you can immediately flip the monitor up and back down again to get rid of him. If you watch my gameplay carefully, you can see what I'm talking about. Bonnet, similar to Yendo, will sometimes appear when you lower the monitor. She'll run across the office from right to left, attacking you if she reaches the left side of the screen. She has only one weakness, snoop poops. Once you hit her nose, she'll disappear. Like with Yendo, you can sometimes see her before dropping the monitor. She takes the form of a pink blur on the right edge. Unlike Yendo, you won't be able to see her here 100% of the time, depending on where she spawns in the office. Sometimes she'll spawn further to the left and you'll need to react quickly. You'll want to keep your mouse at nose height for the entire night. Aside from using the cameras, there's no reason that you have to move it on this preset. Don't try to chase spawn it, just get ahead of her and wait for her to come to you. Wobbit's head will occasionally appear on the monitors in front of you. At this point, type LOL on your keyboard as quick as you can, or use the keypad in the office that lights up with letters. I recommend using your keyboard as it's much quicker and you can do it while the monitor is up too. Once Lulbit appears on all three monitors, you'll get a large pop-up that blocks your vision and prevents you from using the monitor or doors. If the monitor is currently up, it'll be forced down. You can still get rid of Lulbit, so do that as quickly as possible. As you can imagine, if Lulbit appears at the same time as Yendo, there's really not a lot you can do. Just type LOL and raise the monitor as soon as you can. This is why I recommend spending as little time as possible on the cameras. If you believe that Lulbit might have spawned while you're on the cameras, type LOL before dropping a monitor just in case. When combined with Bonnet, this is often referred to as the Wombo Combo. So if you're in the same room as someone playing Sister Location and they start screaming about feet with a high level of dopamine or something about not being like a character from Star Fox, this is probably what happened. Electrobab will spawn in either Camp 3 or 4 and start draining power. Once you see a caution sign appear next to your power in the top left, it's time to raise the monitor and shock him. There's actually an easy way to predict where Electrobab spawns so you don't need to check both closets and waste time. On presets where Funtime Freddy is active, Electrobab will always spawn in the closet opposite to him. On presets where Freddy is not active, like this one, he will alternate positions, always starting on the left. You can keep track of where he will spawn by turning to one side of the office. I recommend turning to the opposite side of where Electrobab will spawn as you normally use your mouse to track Freddy and this can really throw you off in Cupcake Challenge and 1020. There are two sets of Minarinas that function independently. Minarina 2 will occasionally appear when you lower the monitor and will block your vision. 
There's no way to get rid of them, but they don't block cameras, and you can still see your mouse in some spots. The center bottom position is perfect for dealing with Bonnet, as I demonstrate throughout the gameplay. The Twitter use, uh, I mean, the other set of men arenas functions similarly to Electrobab, draining oxygen instead of power. They appear in Cam 6, and you'll want to deal with them and Electrobab on the same camera rotation. You don't always have to deal with them immediately, but don't let the oxygen get too low. Now that we know how each animatronic works, let's come up with an optimal strategy for dealing with them. You'll want to avoid raising the monitor as much as possible, as this can spawn Bonnet and Yendo. Just sit in the office, watch the monitors in the center for a little bit, and wait for the Minarinas and Electrobab to show up. If Wolbit shows up, quickly punch in LOL. Once the oxygen and power start draining, raise the camera and shot cam 6 and 3. While you're doing this, watch for Yendo. Leave the monitor up a bit longer if you need more time to look. Then drop the monitor and quickly flip it up for Yendo if you know he's there. You should always deal with Yendo before Bonnet or Wolbit. Once the other men arenas show up and start blocking your screen, position your mouse so that you can still see it and don't move it much. The bottom center position works well. Always deal with Wallbit before raising the monitor even if it takes an extra second. Be ready to click on Bonnet's nose at all times, but don't panic and forget about Yendo. Position your mouse to remember where Electro Bab will spawn next, but don't go too far off to the right. Otherwise, you'll have a hard time catching Bonnet. This strategy is actually really straightforward, and this is all you'll be doing throughout the night. Wait for Electrobab in the main arenas to start draining resources, then deal with them in a single camera rotation. Watch for Yendo while the camera is still up, and don't flip the monitor if you don't see him. Don't raise the monitor unless you have to, and there's no need to close any doors. Well, that's all for now. This is quite a straightforward and easy preset, but it's good practice for doing camera rotations and learning to overcome the Wombo combo. Follow these instructions, and you should have another 4 stars on the custom night menu. Before we end this video, I'll give a quick update on upcoming videos. I've recently managed to get really good at 1020 on both FNAF 2 and Sister Location. A guide for 1020 of FNAF 2 will likely be my next video, and the guide for 1020 of Sister Location will be releasing once I finish the other presets. I'll start grinding the FNAF 4 challenges soon, and hopefully wrap up the first 5 games before starting on FNAF 6. I hope to see some of you in the Discord server and can't wait to work on FNAA. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this guide, I hope it helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.